Hey, scholars, it's good to be back with you. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about section modulus. Now, section modulus is one of those things that crops up in strength of materials classes a lot. It isn't clear right away what it is. From the name, it sounds like it ought to be related to elastic modulus. It's got the word modulus in it, but it isn't. It's actually related to area moment of inertia. Now, if you remember from your uh, strength of material classes, area moment of inertia is the st stiffness of a beam related to its cross-sectional shape or defined by its cross-sectional shape. And elastic modulus is the stiffness of a beam that's determined by its material, the material it's made out of. Well, section modulus, the definition is I over Y, where I is the area moment of inertia and Y is a distance. Now, if you look in the books, it says the distance from the elastic axis of the beam, which is really its centroid, to the most distant fiber. Well, metal beams don't have fibers. What they mean is how far, the, the farthest away you can get from the elastic axis or the centroid. That's what Y is. So I over Y, well, why would you bother tabulating this? Because this, this exists in, in table form in lots of places. If you go buy standard cross-section beams for something, um, the manufacturer will give you lists of section moduli. Well, why do they do that? Here's why. If you look at the normal stress on a beam, it's M Y over I. M Y over I, where M is the moment, Y is the distance from the uh, elastic axis or the centroid, and you can set this to whatever you want. Normally you make this the outside of the beam because that's where the stress is the highest, that's where you're worried about it failing. And I is the area moment of inertia. Well, I over Y, that's section modulus. So this is the same thing, another way to write this, is M over S. Well, if you already know, you're mostly going to be looking at the farthest outer uh, part of the beam because that's where the stresses are the highest. Well, let's just work with that directly. That's where section modulus comes in. And so this and this are the exact same thing. And because you normally work with the, mo the largest value of Y that's possible, and you always want to know that ratio, it's easy to just tab work with that ratio directly. They had to give it a name. And for whatever reasons, they called it section modulus. Probably not the name I would have picked, but we're stuck with it. Well. To do this, let, let's run some numbers real quick. This is great in sort of the abstract, but it's best if we have numbers, right? Well, let's, let's look at this. I made a little, little rectangular beam here. Dimensions are in millimeters. So it's just a rectangle. It's got a, a height of 100 millimeters, a width of 60, and that means Y bar. In fact, let's call this Y bar here. The location of the centroid in the vertical is 50 millimeters. It's half the distance from the top to the bottom. So what's, what's I? Well, it's 1 12th bh cubed. And remember, the units come out, and are going to come out in millimeters to the fourth, which is kind of a weird unit, but that's what it, what it should be. So 1 over 12 times, let's see, base is 60 times 100 to the, oops, oh, I'm doing a bad thing here. I'm leaving my units off. Never, never, never leave your units off. Ah, I feel better now. 100 millimeters, that whole thing cubed. And the reason I picked 60 is because six, the 6 and the 12 uh, work out there. So this turns out to be uh, 5 million millimeters squared. Or millimeters to the fourth, I should say. Okay, 5 million millimeters to the fourth. Now, a really big number, but that's because we're taking a distance to the fourth power, and a millimeter is about that big. Well, there's an awful lot of square millimeters in that. That's why these numbers get so big. Now, if you do this in meters, this, comes, this number comes out microscopic because a meter is this big. So take your pick. Now, the S for this, the elastic or the section modulus, is I over Y. Well, what do you pick for Y? Well, Y is the maximum possible distance from the elastic axis or the centroid. Well, the farthest away you can get from this is 50 millimeters. So in this case, this is going to be, oops, hang on a second here, ah, 5 million millimeters to the fourth over 
50 millimeters. And not too surprisingly, that comes out 100,000 millimeters cubed. Now, millimeters cubed, it looks like it ought to be a volume. That's millimeters, cubic millimeters. Well, it's millimeters cubed, but it's not a volume. It's millimeters to the fourth over millimeters. So that's the section modulus of that. Now, if you want to know what the stress is, all you got to do now is take a uh, moment applied to the beam and divide it by the section modulus. Because, so just to remind you, this is my over i. It's also moment over s. So that's the handy thing about section modulus. If you want to know what the maximum stress in a, a, a beam is, maximum normal stress, not shear stress, just take the moment, divide it by the section modulus. You are good to go. So I hope this helps, and we'll talk to you next time.